This is another day of the festival. Days come and go, each day is different, and this day is special, for we are welcoming the two directors of another day in life. Raoul de la Fuente and Damian Nenoff, thank you for being there with us, and welcome in Annecy. Thank you. Here we are. For having us. <laughs> no, we are happy to have you. <laughs> I mean, we are more happy. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's say equal. 50-50. <laughs> 50-50. Speaking of 50-50, uh, you both share a memory in Annecy because Raoul, you were there in 2012 and Damien, I think you were there the year after, 2013. And both of you for uh, the work in progress of this very production, Another Day in Life. Six years later, here you are with a 10 years production. Mm. How do you feel coming back to Annecy? Wonderful. Mm. I mean, I, I love the place, mm. and I did a one great mistake in my life because before before this 2013, I was I, I, I had this honor to be invited here with my short film Paths of Hate, and I wasn't here. I, I don't remember what kept me away, but that was a huge mistake. So I, it would never happen again. Now I'm here; mm -hmm. it's the best place to be. In. <laughs> and you, Raoul, you you yeah, missed yeah, Ansi yeah. since uh, those six no, years? <laughs> no, no, uh, no. It's an amazing place, amazing festival. And now really excited to, to see the reaction of the audience, no? because now we have the premiere of the film in half an hour. Mm -hmm. And you know, for us at, at the very end is to have the reception of the uh, audience and critic. So yes, I'm a bit uh, stressed waiting for the premiere and, and feel the reaction of our uh, audience. Um, I'm going to jump to that question because um, Indeed, you had already two very special projections for your movie. The first one with, with uh, Kapuscinski's daughter and uh, wife, and then another projection in Cannes and a month ago. Do you feel like you're a bit uh, different in front of ANSI's audience, which is quite different from the two previous audiences you have? I suppose, I suppose. Uh, Cannes uh, premiere was a world premiere, and Alicia Kapuczynska was there, uh, also his daughter. And also we have a, a special screening with the real protagonist of the film in Lisbon one month ago, before, mm -hmm. before Cannes, two months ago now. And it was very emotional. And now I suppose it's going to be another mood. And I'm, I'm so excited to, to feel no? what's going to be the, the answer of uh, audience here. Very, very soon, mm -hmm. then half an hour. Another day of life is, uh, as every animated production, a true and unique phenomenon. But this one special is. Because first, this is a book written by a journalist, adapted by a special effects and animation specialist, and a borderless uh, documentaries director. More than a simple adaptation, this is a display of know-how and creation wheels. That must have been the hardest challenge to balance all of this. How did you do? Yeah, I, I, I remember that since the very beginning, the very idea was to was the combination of it. So it was, I mean, Raoul came to our place with this great concept and um, of 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 mixing, you know, animation and 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 documentary, real people, facts, reality with fiction, with animated fiction, with surreal visions. Uh, that was, I mean, we all knew that it was it's going to be great. Well, somehow we imagined this combination that it will be great. Then we released the teaser, we knew that it, uh, it is actually working fine. So, but but the, since the very first day, we were working with, with um, working hard to, to utilize this very concept of combining it the, the most efficient, the most stimulating way possible. That was always the, the main, main goal. We were never thinking if it's a good idea or not. We, we knew it's a good idea. Since I, or maybe we predicted somehow <laughs> this is going to be a good idea, but then, then finally, I believe it's it's good. <laughs> yeah, I think this is this kind of times that when you fall in love with with an idea, no, I fell in love so much from the very beginning. Uh, I believe in the in the concept. Also believe a lot in in Damien's talent. So was the reason I was looking for him to collaborate on that. Um, for me, it was uh, like a big challenge to depict uh, a film about the master of journalism and the master of, uh, 
war reporter, uh, Richard Kapuczynski, and we thought that that adventure he, he lived in Angola in 75, he, it has all the elements to create a great uh, film because we were talking about um, a countdown, uh, it's like a spy mood film with um, superpowers fighting for Angola, with uh, big battles, with um, fight freedoms, and spice and all the stuff and I realized that it has all the elements I was interested in to create a thrilling film because we, as Kapuczynski said, no, he said that he had a big fear to get his um, lectors bored and for us it's the same, we wanted to create like a bullet film yeah, that uh, it starts and you can jump out uh, till the very end and that the speed of the film was uh, cut uh, suddenly with some oniric moments with some live action and pauses, sequences, very, very weird, I think, very, very risky. And from the very beginning, we wanted to create something different, a genuine thing. And we were not uh, being inspired by another films. Um, no, it was uh, the concept was like that, and it has been a big, a big journey. But uh, mm -hmm. now we are really proud of it. Mm -hmm. The book was like a gold mine. For these mm -hmm. ideas, as, as Raul says, since the very beginning we knew that we have all the indi ingredients we need. The challenge was to, 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 to write a script, a story for it, utilizing this, this hybrid format. It took us quite a few years, but that was the most exciting time I remember. Many, many days we were mm -hmm. working on the remote locations, locking ourselves from everything else and brainstorming, you know, days and days. And it took us three years, mm -hmm. around three years, mm -hmm. because we were writing a script. It was already a hybrid script, hybrid format script. And that was a challenge. Yeah, everything was super open, because uh, when you, we went entering in the real characters' uh, life stories, it was like, a, wow, we have a lot yeah. of uh, possibilities. New stories. And so mainly what we did was to create, at the very beginning, the the animation script and after that we were incorporating more the, the live action sequences but it was very, as Damian said, very very difficult to create a whole thing because what we didn't want, uh, never uh, expected, was to create like two films in one. We wanted to create a one film with no differences, no differences between animation and live action and for example animation and live action are always uh, being uh, linked by a simple cut and we are not uh, highlighting this, now you are in animation, you are in live action. No, no, for us it was like the same. We wanted to make like a song also, no? that you can switch uh, and close your eyes and, and feel with the music of the sound of the characters and the, the real characters and the animation characters. To, you can feel and you can follow the, the film. It's also very poetic, poetical. Uh, it's a war film also, it's action, so for us it was yeah, amazing, amazing work. Yeah, it's an amazing hybrid because uh, if we look at your uh, your pair, your uh, both of you, uh, you've been snooping around the world for uh, documentary material mm. uh, that are in two dimensions pictures and sometimes um, modeled in a harsh reality. When you, Damien, you've been studying and working how to flee and be freed of this reality to reshape another one. So we have you know, some kind of a paradox is here where you had to work with reality and you had to create a new one. And this is the, uh, I s from what I see, this mm -hmm. is the hybrid uh, place and time and cosmos where you found each other and found that creation. Will you work again together to, to reshape some hybrid reality? Yeah, we feel it's a good idea, but we have to rest a bit, but still, after <laughs> After finishing another day of life, we, we actually spoke about it quite a few times. So, yeah, maybe. We have something unique, I guess, out of this, this hybrid format. It's it's, this, this looks like more uh, than a collaboration. It looks like more a uh, rebirth from, for each of you. Yeah, for rebirth us, in the sure. universe of the other. And yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, uh, of course, we're talking right now, five minutes ago, we would love to make a new film, a new hybrid film together, mm -hmm. of course. But it's difficult to, to create these kind of things. Uh, we're talking that uh, production-wise uh, has been really hard. And also we take uh, many, many risks uh, with our companies like uh, Kanaki Films, Platissimas, uh, from Poland with Jarev Savko, 
Jarek Safko, we, we suffer a lot um, production-wise to, to create this, uh, this film. So we, like uh, directors, of course, we would be in love to create a new one, but uh, yeah, so we need to, to have a good producer that says, okay, let's do it. Yeah, the production design seemed a bit uh, unique and hybrid. How many countries were engaged on the project? Seven or five? Five, five countries. It's uh, Spain, Poland, and Germany, Belgium, Belgium and Hungary. Hungary. Okay. I think as we were trying to create something new, something different, there was, there was no references to, to create it, right? Uh, so in the creative uh, side of the film, we had no references. We had to invent all the process and, and fall down and stand up and recreate. So it, there was no references, no, fin no films for us to, to look at. And production ways was the same. Uh, but I think it has been, it's clear that uh, in Barso, Platissimas, uh, there we had the headquarters for, for the film. And I think that so Damian was there uh, leading all this uh, team of animators from several countries. And after that, there were Damian and me having decisions together, 50-50. And I think we were inventing every time how to solve situations and also how to uh, understand each other, Damien and me, because, you know, uh, a film with two directors is always, for a producer, is a problem. And I think I did. But Kapuczynski also said that uh, it's very important to understand the other, no? So that's what we try to do, try to listen to the master of, of yeah. journalism, to Kapuczynski, and try to understand each other and know how to balance our egos and our uh, creativity and how to canalize all that stuff on the film and go across the borders that are between you. Yeah, right. yeah, of course. Also With even cultural <laughs> board, um, borders, because yes. of course uh, we are different uh, authors from different worlds, with different backstage, with different uh, background cultural-wise. So at the very beginning it was much harder. At the very end we, yeah. we were much more connected, but yeah, at the very beginning it was like much more fight. And, you know. diversity was the, 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 the golden ingredient, I guess. Yeah. That's what you said, actually. That, um, we are so different, but we are somehow, you know, complementing. Intertwined. If, if we were the same, it would be mm. just uh, mm -hmm. nobody would believe us. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> yeah. And these five countries, these five cup producers, they all have trust in us. Yeah. So, it, uh, so it works. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think also producers kind of, they trust a lot, a lot in us, on us. So speaking of borders, you, you've been crossing lots, uh, cultural, technical, um, conceptual, you've been uh, creating a new world in which you can create, just as uh, Richard Kapuscinski always did. That's what you said in your last interview in Cannes, that he was a, a culture passer, a, a border um, uh, crosser, and uh, abolishing this concept of boundary and displaying a strong message to the world, as you are doing today with the, another day of life. This is more than a tribute, more than a homage to his work. Uh, despite his absence, do you feel uh, guided in your work by his? Yeah, I feel yes. Since the very beginning, uh, we wanted to, to transmit somehow, in some way, a bit of this essence of Richard Kapuscinski's writing, his, his wisdom, his way of thinking which is very, uh, very uh, contemporary. It's very, actually, uh, important nowadays. Hmm. Um, he was, he, I mean, the very essence of his was to focus on people, not on crowds, not on politics, but on a single individual and through people being able to show big pictures. And I believe that somehow this hybrid format of ours and the film we, we wanted to, to make and the film we actually did, somehow utilized this, this method. Yeah, I think there is a concept on the film uh, about the wish or the desire of all of us, all of us, of transcend or survive for our own death. No, and Kapuczynski is there in the front lines and he's meeting the so, uh, the soldiers who are ready to die, and all of them uh, they want to be photographed, uh, to leave a trace, to remain, uh, make me a picture. But now that I'm alive, and Kapuczynski was. With them trying to uh, to create a legend uh, with them, this is an homage to this kind of uh, civilians, innocent, who are dying in the whole world. Uh, for us, that was important. 
And after 10 years working in Kapuscinski's footsteps uh, on this production, would you say that he will be always with you as a legacy or a spirit on the rest of your career and productions? <laughs> I guess, yeah. It's, uh, it's 10 years, you know, if my life is this. And it's going yeah. to be like something like this. I, <laughs> it will stay with me yeah. till the very end. <laughs> I was commenting with him that uh, we, suf we suffer a lot uh, creating this film, but I never felt uh, a bad feeling on Kapuczynski. Yeah. Sometimes I was looking at to the sky and said, you are laughing of us, you are laughing of us, you are yeah, uh, putting us in, 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 on hell. It's a nightmare, but I never thought bad about him. And now when I see the film, I, I smile and I can, I can see Kapuczynski on the film. And I was very happy with the uh, words that uh, he, his daughter uh, told to us that uh, she was recognizing his father on the film, mm -hmm. the way he was thinking. It's not only magic because uh, not Damien, not me, we could uh, meet uh, Kapuczynski alive. So we didn't know how it was. It was our film. vision. Then. It's our vision. Of course, we talk and we interviewed and we shoot with the camera many, many people talking about him, but uh, th that was very nice when she told us that uh, his mm -hmm. father was more or less like that and he can recognize his smile and the way he was thinking. It's just magic. Somehow this is a 10 years uh, work to have an encounter with him in the end. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and for me, I started uh, inspired by him to travel the world. When you uh, were very young? Yeah, when I was very young in Africa, Latin America, and now I continue doing the same thing. I just have been in Sierra Leone uh, making a short documentary film. Now, now I'm going to a refugee camp in Uganda with the uh, South, South Sudan refugees, and I continue my life as I started uh, when we created the, the project. So I still uh, am um, inspired by Kapuczynski, and Kapuczynski said that uh, for being a good journalist, you have to emphasize with, uh, emphasize with people, have to be together, because our work depends on what is the other going to give us, because mm -hmm. uh, when I'm going with the cam my camera over there around the world, I have to connect with people, I have to understand the other, because they are going to trust me and tell us uh, their stories. So for me, Kapuczynski is still there, uh, like a guide, of course. Thank you very much for uh, this very serious, serious nice interview. interview. Nice and interview. we are going to ask you just a last question, okay. very um, calling upon your immediate creativity and imagination, if you still have some left after those 10 years. Uh, <laughs> if you had to produce tomorrow uh, an animated <laughs> film or a short or a documentary on ANSI Festival, what would be the angle and what would be the title of the movie? God. So we have a title. <laughs> and if the planes, pitch is good... Planes, planes and twin towers being uh, fell down with these uh, super white planes you are using. Nice. Uh, that's a good <laughs> idea. With the thunderstorm twin every, planes, all the twin time. Planes. Yeah, twin, planes. Twin, planes. twin planes. Twin planes. Like us, twin planes. Amazing. <laughs> High performance. <laughs> Hybrid planes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, to you. have a very good projection with the uh, Hans Zanians.